Hello my gorgeous, beautiful, wonderful queen bees. It is your girl Amanda, the bust artist. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to touch on a topic that I have been pretty much talking at length about for many, many videos in the past. And that is about finding what our personal why is when it comes to making art. And there is a very good reason why I want to really go into this topic. See, not every artist will constantly feel inspired to create art. They can sometimes lose steam in their motivation, finding themselves in a creative slump of sorts, wallowing in states of frustration, self-loathing, and worst of all, doubt in their own artistic abilities. Other artists, especially super beginner ones, tend to hold back because of some irrational fear of failure, giving them a false narrative of insecurity and prevents them from even starting anything related to being creative. And I'll tell you one thing, these feelings happen to all artists, these feelings of doubt and insecurity. And what keeps many artists from growing and moving forward is not tuning into their creative why, their creative urges for wanting to create in the first place. See, someone's why is their personal emotional urge to do something. It has nothing to do with tangible goals, accomplishments, wealth, or any external factor. Instead, knowing your why is really just a simple itch within every artist and is an itch that must be recognized and must be scratched. So how do you go about finding what your creative why is? I have gotten some questions concerning the discovery of our creative why. How do we do it? A big one being, I am not that profound of a person and I simply cannot spiritually dive that deep to figure what my why is. And let me just tell you something, that is a bunch of baloney. Seriously. Our why for doing what we do is quite the opposite of profound. It is simple. It taps onto an emotional trigger. It's not a complicated cosmic tapping into the universe, but rather an inward reflection of why you do what you do. And I'm going to show you a simple exercise that I use to help me uncover my deep emotional why. And as we're doing this exercise, I will fill in with my own responses to help illustrate my points. But please, as I'm going through this, take this time to fill in with your own reasonings as well. So to begin, we first need to ask ourselves, why do you like making art? Sure, it's a simple question, but it gets the ball rolling. Why do you like making art? Why do you like to be creative? Now, my answer for this is, I like making art because I want to practice my skills and make pretty things. So I've answered the first question. The next step is to ask why again. Why do you want to practice your skills and make pretty things? And again, answer the question. My answer is because I want to improve as an artist and be proud of my work. Okay, now we're getting warmer. Once we start to hit a more emotional chord of our why, which in this case is pride in my work, you're getting closer to that emotional trigger and therefore getting closer to your deepest creative why. So let's keep digging. Why do you want to be proud of your work? Because I want to leave a lasting impact on the world. Ask why again. Why do you want to leave a lasting impact? Because I do not want to be silent and forgotten, I want to be remembered. Boom, there it is. In just a few simple steps of simply asking why, I was able to uncover a deep emotional response to my reasons for creating art. I want to be remembered, I don't want to be forgotten. It sure beats because I like to make pretty things. Do you see the difference here? One taps into an emotional need, the other one is just very superficial. So if you found your why, does it really matter? I mean, who cares? The answer is you do. Finding our why is so incredibly necessary for us as artists because it's a tool and weapon against all the fear and self-doubt we will inevitably encounter in our creative journeys. And in those dark times when I have felt hopeless, insecure, and lost, I always need to turn to my emotionally charged why to help lift the fog and light a fire under my butt. Because really, in the end, your why needs to be louder than your fears. Simple as that. If your why isn't getting you out of a slump or motivating you enough, you probably haven't tapped into your emotional trigger. And I would suggest trying the exercise above again. And that is okay too. It's not always easy to find our creative why. Sometimes it takes several failed attempts to really uncover what it is. But what counts is you are taking those steps to arm yourself with purpose and with the necessary emotional weapons to keep you going strong as an artist. 
So that's about it, my queen bees. This is a pretty short video, but I wanted to just tell you about my exercise and how I find my own creative why and how you can do the same to tap into yours. If you enjoyed this video, queen bees, please be sure to give this video a like and to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. You know what to do so that you can see more videos like this from me to you in the future. All right, my loves. Well, I'm going to sign off. Remember to love yourselves and always have fun with your art. See you all next time. Bye.